To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life. Revelation 2, 7. Promises to the overcomer. 1. The tree of life. The seven assemblies in Asia, a Roman province in modern-day Turkey, are often viewed in a prophetic way. The characteristics of each assembly give us prophetic overview of the different periods of church history from the apostolic era to the rapture. As interesting as this is, our object here is rather to consider the promises made to the overcomers in three assemblies. The overcomer is a believer, one who is born of God, 1 John 5, 4 to 5. Thus the promises are true for all believers of all errors. This first promise brings before us the tree of life. What thoughts arise in the hearts and minds of believers at the mention of this? The overcomer will be given the privilege of partaking of the tree of life. In the condition of innocence, Adam didn't have to be an overcomer in order to eat of the tree of life. He had free access. Sadly, however, he instead ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. After this, the way to the tree of life was guarded by the cherubim, lest man, in his sinful state, should eat of it and thus be eternally in the condition of condemnation. Genesis 3:22 to 24. In the promise to the overcomer, only one tree is mentioned. There will be no tree there that can bring in sin and sorrow as in the first paradise. The sin question has been settled by Christ himself, and the way is now open through his finished work. Thus we will have the right to the tree of life, Revelation 22:14. The cherubim guarded the tree of life after the fall of man. Thus how striking it is that it was an angel that led John to see the tree of life in the book of Revelation, rather than barring him from it, Revelation 22.2. No flaming sword in that scene. Redeemed man will live forever in the heavenly paradise. This promise should cheer the overcomer. Brian Reynolds